I've just received a call from Secretary Clinton. She congratulated us, it's about us, on our victory. And I congratulated her and her family on a very, very hard-fought campaign. Now it's time for America to bind the wounds of division. We have to get together. For those who have chosen not to support me in the past, of which there were a few people, <laughs> I'm reaching out to you for your guidance and your help so that we can work together and unify our great country. Ours was not a campaign, but rather an incredible and great movement. Working together, we will begin the urgent task of rebuilding our nation and renewing the American dream. Every single American will have the opportunity to realize his or her fullest potential. We will double our growth and have the strongest economy anywhere in the world. At the same time, we will get along with all other nations willing to get along with us. While we will always put America's interests first, we will deal fairly with everyone, with everyone. To Melania and Don and Ivanka and Eric and Tiffany and Barron, I love you and I thank you and especially for putting up with all of those hours. This was tough. Get over here, Ralph. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ladies and gentlemen, the next president of the United States, Donald Trump. It's been what they call a historic event, but to be really historic, we have to do a great job. While the campaign is over, our work on this movement is now really just beginning. You will be so proud of your president. You will be so proud. Again, it's my honor. It was an amazing evening. It's been an amazing two-year period. And I love this country. Thank you. Thank you very much.